I'm just going to uh, run this coil at a few different power levels and uh, check, show you a few different power levels. I've got a small receiver unit over there on the small table there. I've got it hooked up but it's not tuned in properly or anything. It's not for any particular reason other than to maybe soak up a bit of the energy. It's connected by the bottom of its secondary to the ground connection. A uh, crystal radio so it can be connected to that receiver and, and listen to the radio. I start off at a fairly low power level. This is uh, about as low as power level as I can go. The spark gap is, uh, is running fairly slow. As you can hear, less than 2,000 RPM. Um, I modified the spark gap to double its um, brake rate. Well, it now has uh, 16 brakes per revolution. Okay. You can see there there's no, no leak in the terminal. As I go along the different power levels, I'll just stick on the brake point there to show the, uh, the actual power level. I'll go up in the, in the right brake right now a bit. Uh, all my leaks there. Quite a bit of juice there. Eh? I can only take the speed of the rotary gap up so far because I've got to stay below 40 volts in the input to the boost converter the diodes in the boost converter as soon as I see a uh, little motor just flying in there for a second You just see a very small leak out of the, uh, out of the top of there just then. Bit of good juice there. I'll go ahead and make a change to the coil now. Okay, so what I've done now is I've changed the charging inductor inductance from over 20 Henry's to about 5 Henry's. I can't go too low with the brake rate like that. So, uh, let's see how it goes. You see there's a couple of little breakouts there happening now from the rough parts of the toroid. Quite a bit of juice there now. Let's Increase the brake right now. It's actually smoothed it out a little. So there's no brake out there. That higher right.
So that uh, that's not too bad. <coughs> I can go with even more power than that by uh, adjusting the resonance on the mots. The microwave transformers. I've got a a core there that I use to put into the into the ballast inductor, which kind of works in reverse and creates. There's more power to use rather than less. And then the offense is increased there. Oh, uh, throw a tube down here. Show the spark up. Receiver. 